Hello, peeps. Welcome back to another episode of Boundless. In this episode, um, I believe we will um, pick up kind of where we left off in our last episode. Um, I've been working on crafting up some items so we have our sackcloth and our ancient vital essence and with this we're going to be able to um what does that stuff oh i was, thought maybe it was stacking with something i don't know if we have enough stuff yet no we got to get glue which should be crafted Um, we only have five glue. I was kind of hoping to be able to get enough to do a bulk craft of these. Oh, I do have enough. Sweet. So that means I can get three of the copper hammers. So we're advancing a little bit. Um... At the time of this recording, now the the ban on videos has been lifted now. So the first episode of this season has posted. And I will have the second episode out shortly after that. And then the third episode, and then I believe I didn't um, I didn't record as much as I had originally planned, so I only have a few episodes recorded up. Um, it just to me it felt kind of weird, like playing and recording too many episodes in a row. Um, without being able to post videos and then all of a sudden now that we can post videos and stream again I didn't want to have I, I honestly didn't want to have a lot of um, all of a sudden like now that like if I wanted to stream and I didn't have all my videos posted yet it would have been kind of weird so At least I think it would have been weird. So we need to decide. I need to decide if I want to stick with this little area here um, and build something, build a starter house here, or if I want to make my way to the guild headquarters because we have we have gotten our communication from the guild and the guild is on this planet now so I don't know It don't show up yet, so what we might have to do is go into our friends and I don't have no friends. Wonder why I didn't put my all of my Steam friends in. Although I don't think I have stretchiest on my steam so let's check something really quick here
and we need to get to actually yeah let's let's this episode I want to let's get to the let's get to the destination of the Exodus build which I have the coordinates for So this will be kind of cool because this is the first time I've typed in that I've typed in um, coordinates. Um, let's just do 69, I suppose, since that's the altitude that I'm at now. And... <clears throat> Our destination is that way. So do we have food on us? We have cooked starberries and some raw earth yam. So we should be all right for food. So let's head to the Exodus and see what we can see along the way. And then my next plan then is to start moving to a new planet. Um, I am going to meet up with some of the members of the Twisted Crew Discord community that also play this game and we got a little bit of a community started up. Um, I don't know. I know which planet it is, but honestly, I don't know how to actually say the name of the planet. Some of the names of the planets are going to be butchered up pretty badly when when people are trying to pronounce them. Let's go for a little bit of a swim. Actually, you know what I should have did? And maybe I still can instead of running this whole way and... Is... Can we handcraft? Yes, we can. So let's just handcraft a couple of these warp conduits. And then we should be able to go down here and let's place these down interact oh don't let you do it that way that would be awesome though because I I have the custom location down you'd think they would yeah that ain't gonna work that's a bummer So I guess we're running and swimming. Maybe we can see some cool stuff along the way. So the planet that we are on, I wonder if it's going to be visible. Let's get over to shore. We'll run. We'll do some running. I haven't been able to make a... I haven't made a grapple yet. Um, but I'm thinking that I'm thinking what I'll probably do is just once once I find Exodus is probably save the location because I do plan on building on Exodus too. 
save the location and then that way I can return back to it. Those trees are kind of cool with the square blocks of leaves. Somebody's got a spot set up up there with uh, some gleam. Just kind of trying to peek at some of these resources that are along the edge of these cliffs. Okay, some of them are worthwhile getting. I have I have a bit of coal and stuff, so or not coal, but copper, so I'm not too I'm not gonna go out of my way to collect copper, but if I happen to see iron or something up there, that would be worth grabbing because iron is very rare on these starter planets. We actually have to go to another planet to be able to really start locating and finding iron so we have to get off of these starter planets there's that'll be the other thing I, I need to do or want to do this this episode is getting us a atlas I do have one piece of iron that I can put into the atlas and see if there's a way that we can possibly locate some iron. So it looks like it's just over this hill. <coughs> but the um, the way that I understand it is iron is really rare on these planets. And basically the, the iron that is on these planets, the starter planets, isn't necessarily for you to find for crafting purposes it's for you to have iron so when you go to one of the other planets that actually does have iron um, then you can use an atlas with your piece of iron that you do have And you can be able to find iron on that planet then. <coughs> Which kind of makes sense. Um, you don't need you don't need iron to leave your planet. Um, it takes well any base metal, so copper copper will get you is is one of the ingredients to the warp augment. Um, can we stick this landing? No, there's no way we can make that. We should be able to jump onto these leaves, though. No, we didn't. Oh. It looked like we were going to make it, and then all of a sudden, we just, like, stopped. So... The people in the guild have been working working hard on the guild community and this is the first I've this is the first time I've seen it. I have not been here. Um I have not watched or seen any anything on the builds here yet so I don't know what state the builds are in and I have entered the Exodus so there's a lot of plans for the for the build um, some of the drawings and stuff that pictures that are posted on Discord are pretty amazing. Um, we have, looks like there's quite a bit of work left to do. Quite a bit has started, but there's quite a bit left to do, so. 
this is going to be one of our primary homes and I think with the fact that I found this location <clears throat> and that the guild is set up here I am just going to abandon the starter home and no sense in building a starter home there when I am going to build here and then in the other planet with my discord community and we are on um, that planet Fem orum mino rum femina rum Minerum, something like that. In fact, um, I don't know if it's a settlement yet or not. So I don't know if it'll show up. It could potentially be this unnamed settlement. But I'll have to make my way over there to there. So for now, what I want to do is um, not get stuck here. I'm just going to right here, go into my places, um, current location, add to location list, and let's label this the Exodus. So I'll have, to, I'll have to get in touch with Stretchius and the guys and um, figure out a location that I can actually build something here with. Um, for now, let's head back to our starting location. <clears throat> So this is, other than the warp coming out of Sanctum, this is the first warp that I've gone through for this playthrough. Alright, and we are back. Let's take our places, custom destination. Let's remove the destination so that way it's not showing up on our thing anymore um, our compass and let's figure out let's make an atlas now so an atlas will help us find any type of resources that we want to find on this planet and I believe we should be close to having the we need four pieces of glass now glass is Glass is made in the furnace, and I know it takes sand. We have sand. And I believe it takes silty soil. Yes. But we don't have enough silty soil. Do we have silty soil in any of our workbenches? No. Nope. And no. So let's go get some silty soil. <clears throat> we have the tools. Um, that's peaty soil. Which isn't terrible to get because we can use that as fuel. But we don't want peaty soil, we want silty soil. And it appears <clears throat> that everything is peaty soil. Clay. Um, what is this stuff? Here we go, silty soil. Oh, it's 
a stout one too. trouble here so let's just run away from these guys luckily with the run speed and stuff we're faster than them so it is easy for us to get away from them um, let's get this food into our bar so we can eat we need to replenish some of our energy and our and our HP so Hopefully this is silty soil again. Alright. So maybe we can collect in peace here for a little bit. So I think we need two per piece of glass. And we needed four pieces of glass to make the atlas. We grab like 16, at least 16 pieces of silty soil. We can make a bit of glass. We might as well make as much as we can, so we have it for in the future. Because we'll need, we'll want more atlases, not just an atlas for this planet. But I am curious to know if there's happens to be any other any other um, iron on this planet other than I found the one piece so let's run back home now been loving the music in the in the game that it seems like they've added some newer some new music and some of it's pretty awesome right, we kind of kind of avoided that that's bitter and we were making glass in this one so let's put, um, let's just start with 10 pieces there and throw all our silty soil in there and start the furnace. So in about four minutes, we'll have our glass and that should be all we need. We have the copper bars. Also, if we wait 10 minutes, we should have 10 pieces of glass. We can make a bulk. We can make a bulk batch of atlases. That'll give us three of them. So one for this planet. Um, one for our other planet that we'll be moving to. And then maybe one for a um, tier 2 planet. Because I believe, yeah, we should be on it. No, we're on a tier 2 I think we need to be go to like a tier three planet, which will get us access to some. See, we need to go there. I don't know if we can yet, but to me that sounds like a good spot to go to, because it says it's an inhospitable metal world. And since it says it's a metal world, it should have iron. <clears throat> so what else? Um, I want to craft, I want to work on some storage. I, I know this is a lot cheaper storage um, because you actually can store, you have access to eight, eight item locations. So you can store more items in a crafting table than you can in an actual storage block but 
the storage blocks look much better. So we need more glue for this. And glue was um, sap and bones. So maybe we need to go hunting for a little bit. Um, we do have a spitter. With my copper, I should actually, I should make a, well, I need to make a, um, a why can't I remember it, a, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's, let's use our wall to our advantage. I mean, we built it for a reason, I mean, to protect us, so. I should use the copper to make a grapple and then um, also to make a copper sling bow because then it, it'll be more effective. I'll be able to kill. Oh, that was not very good. I think I have these blocks in my inventory I can I can use these blocks in my inventory and actually like make some defenses for myself I won't get hit as often. But I should do it with like soil instead, so it's easier to pick up. Oh, and I still got hit. <laughs> That's terrible. And he's dead. No bones. Did, we do also have we have some cubits that we could spend um, one interesting thing is the gleam club and I, I wanted to check this into this a little bit more so as part of the gleam club you you get these awesome perks which are color chat allows you to add color in chat I'm not sure if that means like you can choose a custom color if all or if all members of the gleam club get just a have the option of having a specific color for being in the gleam club i don't know for sure you get access to emojis in the chat you're and then you get beacon auto fuel so your beacons will never run out of fuel while you're in the gleam club so as long as you're paying the subscription for your for the membership into the Gleam Club, you never have to add fuel to your beacons. And then you get advanced tinting, so you can creatively customize your character with different body paint and outfits with special tints. 
and then you get a gleam glyph a shiny gleam club character glyph especially for members so for 30 days it's five dollars for 90 days it's 12.99 13 dollars so you save two dollars by buying three months at a time and then you save another dollar by getting the, the 180 so for basically for a year it would be fifty dollars now we can also purchase qubits individually so and these I believe I mean there there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a yeah you get a discount if you as you purchase more so the larger the larger you buy the the more basically the cheaper each cube it becomes <coughs> hey you just had to get one last hit on me There's blood this must not be the way to get bones so I didn't get any bones got tallow and how's our glass coming do we have 10 pieces yet we have eight we just need two more do we have any wild stock around I do know that luck does affect your drops. So I might not have enough luck for the bones to drop for me. Um what do we what do we at character skills? So I don't have any points into our luck. I don't have any points to spare right now. But that's definitely, I think, something that we need to look into getting points into is our luck. I heard you. Ah, oh, and you're both stout. I don't know. You're so close together, too, that... when I should have egged. Ah, milk gland. I don't know if I've ever gotten that drop. This way. Oh, there's some bones. Hey, we got bones. Two bones. a good start No 
no bones. At least we're getting the, uh, getting meat and stuff, though. So it's not like this is useless. That, and we're getting the experience. There's a bone. We got a couple bones. Let's go throw these into the furnace. I'm gonna make a couple couple glues. And I only wanna take ten pieces of glass. Bulk craft three and three minutes and we'll have an atlas. Now did I keep the iron somewhere? I hope I didn't cook it up. Nope, I got it here. I actually have three pieces of it. <clears throat> and what I'll have to do is I'll have to um, pack up all of these, all my stuff that I have here when I go to move. Have some glue. Oh, awesome. I have our three swift hammers so do I have what else do I need for a copper sling bow I need glue and I need glue for do I have a glue I have a glue I think unfortunately right now the protection by having better weapons is probably just a little bit higher of a priority for me other before um, before we worry necessarily about a storage so we we can continue to use this as our storage I would like to get into the regular storage but this definitely works so can go in here and our atlas is done one minute so we have extra doors too I could place some doors well I don't I don't plan to stay here much longer um Within the next episode or two, we'll make our way over to the next planet. And then that's where we'll start building some stuff. And then and then I'll work on working my way back to the Exodus. And I'll be jumping back and forth between the two locations. So hopefully it's not too tough of a... Um, warp distance or too long of a warp distance that it'll be easy for me to be able to get back and forth I think it's cool that you can see people on here so Digger Dan Digger Dan is over here playing on Storis I don't know who Digger Dan is but so we have all these different players that are on these worlds And what's really nice, what's really cool is like planets that are really close like this. You can see so much of the planet. Alright, let's get our atlases. So let's take one out. And then let's put it in our hands. And then I want to take one chunk of iron out and put it in there. So now... If we were to go over into that direction, I 
on it looks like underneath this big mountain over here we should have a, a better chance of finding some iron even though we know going into it that there's not really going to be a large amount of iron on this planet there's, that looks like a fairly decent concentration though to the north of us but if I dig around in this area in this mountain here I, I should have a chance of finding a little bit more iron at least but we are going to I gotta learn the new controls we are going to wrap this episode up here we have our atlas we have our atlas in our hand and we are making progress so thanks everybody for watching you hit the like button if you liked what you saw and subscribe if you want to see more content and i will talk to everybody later see ya